Hey guys, I'm Cody at Divine Pass Life Pro, and for today's tutorial, I thought I'd show you how to adjust Bloom in the Seuss V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. Of course, credit to Slapping Creeper 121 for telling me this information. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> First, have the Sue shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. For those without Catman's Lens Flare code installed, which is pretty much those with the default Sue's V10.2, the line you'll be working with is 885. In my case, it's 2093. For adjusting Bloom, the number directly after VEC3 is what we'll be using. Larger numbers increase the Bloom amount, whereas smaller numbers, understandably, decrease it. So for my taste, though I was recommended to use a slightly higher value, I actually really feel best with the current setup. Believe me, I have done my testing, but I just kept coming back to the original. But of course, for all of you, to help you pick a value that best suits you, I lined up a comparison to help you out. And yes, don't forget to save when you're done. If this Seuss tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.